welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I'm just going to wait for everybody to join us. I've just come on a little bit early. Have a little chat to you if you're there. And make sure all my tech is working. <laughs> got a great project today really really fun I've had such fun doing this good morning Marilyn how are you <laughs> hi Evelyn how's it going welcome everybody hi Christine how are you very exciting today I'm really excited about this one hello hi Alex Hi everyone, look, hold on, hello, he's a little kitten with a fish, so cute, can't get over it, really really exciting. <sighs> Hi Ennis, well I need to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hi Maria, how are you? I'm just going to wait till one o'clock on the dot so that um, we give a chance for everybody to join. I'm very well, thank you, Christine. Yes, I've been playing with these cute felt kits that my daughter wanted to pinch from me. <laughs> she went, I know how to do that, Mum. Just just to tell you, though, she's not a little. My daughter's 14. Hi, Edith. How are you? So we're going to be doing um, some felting kits, and I'll give you all the information at one o'clock um, when everyone's joining. But if you've just... Um, joined us this is the little guy that i made look he's like a he's a little cat and he's got like a little fish i'll show you him a uh, close up now i didn't follow the picture exactly because i wanted him to have his own little character so this is what we're going to be doing but there's obviously all different ones there's loads of different ones and i'll tell you all about those hi nicola how's it going how is everybody today have you got somewhere you are it was very sunny here in yorkshire yesterday a bit cloudy today Hi Christina, I'm very well. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I'm doing well. I've been doing lots of this, I've been sitting in front of the television doing my felting, making my little face. I really like it. Aren't they cute, Christine? I know, and I like to think of myself as a bit of a mixed media artist, but I've never done felting before, ever. So it just shows you how good these kits are. And they are really cute and the good thing is that when you finish making them you can do whatever you like with them so that you know you could have them I'm probably going to put mine just in my studio just be on the camera here I have all the little things that make me happy there so I'll probably put put mine there but there could be keychains gifts you can hang them in your car like anything they're really really adaptable it's cloudy on the Isle of Wight I'm going on holiday to the Isle of Wight in August never been so no clouds in August please Nicola <laughs> Oh, hello from Scopolis. I bet it's gorgeous there, isn't it? Yeah, it's overcast here as well, Gail. Christine says she hasn't done it for years. Well, I've never done it at all. So <laughs> I think when you've got something really cute that you can make, you I mean you can follow the picture, you can go a little bit off piste, do your own face and your own design. But I found it really simple to do, and I had no clue how I would get on with it because I've not not done them before. So I was really, really pleasantly surprised. Have I said hello to everybody? So we've got links in the chat to the kits, um, very limited, and I'm going to be telling you how to get hold of those. Um, the last time they went on the website, which was about a week ago, um, they sold out in 24 hours. <laughs> I think it's the price, and it was a very good price. Oh, Christine says she's going to Rhodes. How beautiful. Hello, Monica. And she's she says it's snowing in Indiana. I do like a bit of snow, as long as I don't have to go anywhere. Okay, so it's one o'clock, um, so I want to say hello and welcome to Workshop Wednesday, and if you haven't been with us before, my name's Debbie Kershaw, and I'm a guest designer here on behalf of Spoilt Rotten Beads, and we like to do a live on a Wednesday and showcase some new products and give you some design ideas and interact with you and chat with you, so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me, please do. Obviously, if you're watching this on playback, 
I can't answer you because it's not live um, but you can watch it on playback as well and you'll get the full tutorial right there is a link to the kits it's a bit of a race for time today I'm going to take you straight down to my hand camera and I'm going to show you these kits and I'm going to explain what's going on okay so I'm going to take you down to my hand just before we start <laughs> look at these now, as I was saying, if you've just joined us, when some of these went on the website last week, they sold out in 24 hours. But you can order these, pre-order these today. Just check out, as usual, if you follow the link in the chat and you will be able to um, grab yours and they will be sent out to you when they arrive. Now, they're arriving week commencing the 26th of April, which is next week. So you would just click on it, check out as usual, and they'll get sent to you as soon as they come in. Now, there is limited stock. So going by last time, they sold out in 24 hours. If you really, really do want to grab one of these, I would suggest you did it sooner rather than later. Now we've got some new guys this time. Now I've made this one and I'm also going to show you how to make the little hamster but look I'm obsessed with this one look this one's new look at him he looks like a little a little um puppy dressed as, as a monster he's so cute and then you've got a little puppy dressed as an alien what else have we got we've got oh look at this one it's got a little rabbit and he's got like a little bunny um this is i'm going to be showing you the hamster and i've got an idea about something different we could do with him and we've also got sort of a little reindeer oh this one is so cute the one with the little strawberry in the hat and there's a santa so i think there's a couple in stock i think there might be a couple of the hamster but all the rest just completely out of stock and then these little ones at the top the cat and a few others are brand new so they're new designs so i think they would go even quicker so they're only 5.95 which i think is absolutely amazing and you get all the tools that you need to make this as well so you just need to go into the chat click on the link check out as you usually would add it to your basket check out and it will be sent to you as soon as the stock arrives into spot rotten bees which will be next week week commencing the 26th of april okay right let me pop this out of the way let's see if i've got any um right now i'm not going to be able to look at the chat while i'm showing you because i'll stab myself basically okay so i'm going to turn my light on and i'll endeavor to answer questions afterwards now this is my little guy and the good thing that i found about these kits and i know that if you're a designer you'll know hi lynn um you'll know what i mean you can follow the picture exactly and you can end up with something very very close to the picture or you can make your little guy have a personality of his own which i did and i kind of tried to make him i, I wanted him to look sort of a bit not as sort of whimsical i wanted him to look a bit more sort of tabby cat like because we have a tabby cat so i kind of just went off piste and made him um to my specifications now just to say that i have never ever 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 needle felted before and i've managed to achieve this little guy with my first try which i thought was was amazing i was a little bit nervous i was like yeah i'll have a go and then i thought oh no what if it's rubbish <laughs> i'm quite happy with him i think he's really really cute and then i'm going to be showing you how to make the hamster now depending on which kit you choose will depend on which eyes you get and which color felt and but you will get all the tools that you need to make so basically you're getting all the tools and all of the materials that you need to make your little person for 5.95 now I, I wanted to say to you because i thought this was quite important that after making this guy i had so much left over i reckon i could have made him a lot bigger if i'd have wanted to i could have made another one or maybe another two the only thing you'd need to add is some eyes um, but if you've got any safety eyes for any crochet projects or anything you can use those um, any stick on eyes or also you can you draw, draw the eyes on you can you can do that as well so these go a really long way you can definitely make much more than just one okay right so this is my little guy and I'm just going to go through what you get in the kits all right so when your kits come you're going to get full instructions and they open out like this so you get your sort of photographs and you get your um, text as well now if you're more of a visual learner if you scan this little thing here with your phone it will take you to a YouTube video and the YouTube video shows someone actually making it and I found that as a complete beginner very very useful to just have a little look through that before I started and also you've got this um, 
uh, menopause, what's the word? Photograph. <laughs> You've got this photograph which is in actual size so that as you're working along, like I've sort of started doing his head, you can keep checking that your pieces are the right size, obviously, to make him there. So that's sort of real size there. But of course, you've got enough wool, as I said earlier, enough felt to make him a lot bigger if you wanted to. Um, that's completely up to you okay so if, if you scan that it'll take you to the youtube video you've got your picture here that you can keep referring to so that's your reference image and then you've also got all of your step-by-step -step instructions inside and then also you get another little piece of paper here and this is just explaining to you a little bit about needle felting and it again it explains to you what the needles do and how to look after them and I found that really interesting too and you've still got your um, YouTube teaching also on the back there that you can just all you have to do is launch your camera point at it and it'll it'll tell you the YouTube link for the video tutorial okay so as I showed you earlier there's all different ones so depending on which one you choose to what colors you're going to get and what eyes you're going to get so with this one obviously I've got these lovely big googly eyes but with the little hamster he's got sort of little black eyes so it just depends okay just let me see if i've got any questions before we start hi elizabeth how are you oh don't worry okay so what you get in the kit instructions you get your little pad that you do your needle felting on you get four types of needles and they are different sizes and you'll see as you go along um, that you have thicknesses and I'll explain that as we go along and then you get absolutely tons literally loads of your felt and I found that I had absolutely loads left over after making my little guy so this will go a really long way um, anything else I've forgotten to tell you yes you get your little finding here so if you want to add that and then clip him onto something you can do that and you also get a head pin um, that you can attach now I didn't add this to the top of mine because I wasn't going to hang it from anything but but you can certainly do that okay should we get started now you need to just mention that these needles are very very sharp so I wouldn't recommend these this kit for young children and also if you feel like you, you're going to stab yourself a really good addition is um, a thimble or gardening gloves to start off with if you're looking at the instructions and not at what you're doing um, pop a thimble on or pop, pop on some some gloves um, just to to make sure that you don't stab you yeah Elizabeth you could definitely make two with it the only thing that you would need to add in is another pair of eyes but you can draw those on if you use a Posca paint marker um, or anything mixed media you could actually draw your eyes on you could stick on you know the googly eyes that you get in uh, paper crafting you could um, I've got loads of safety eyes that I use for my crochet animals so anything like that um, the only thing that you don't get is extra eyes but you've certainly got enough felt to make more than one I'd say more than two really or even to make the one you are making a lot bigger okay let's go so the thing that we want to start off with is having a look at our instructions and this is the hamster and this is a lot different obviously to the little cat I made and yours will be specific to your little guy so if you've just joined us there he is he's a little cat with a little fish he's got a little tail and he's holding his fish for when he's hungry <laughs> thank you all right so starting off here are your instructions and I'm just going to take you through a few of the techniques I can't make one from start to finish because it will be too long and hopefully that will help you together with your instructions and together with your YouTube video and give you a few pointers and just some of my thoughts as a complete beginner all right so I'm going to pop my instructions in front of me because I need to keep referring to my reference image to make sure that I'm making my little guy the same size as he needs to be okay so the first thing I need to do according to my instructions is take some of my grey felt and as you can see I've got absolutely loads here so I'm just going to separate some felt here now you can pull it apart I like to cut it doesn't matter really and I'm just going to start with this much and the thing about felting is you can 
really add on as you go so you can start with a little bit add on add on add on um, once it's felted in it's there um, so it's probably better to sort of start smaller and then keep building that's what I found I'm no expert I'm a beginner but I managed to do it okay really really um, enjoyed it good morning Dale how are you right so what you need to do to start off with is just roll this the cat could have a little mouse he really could and the one thing that i was thinking about this little um guy if i just before i get started see this little guy this is what we're making he's got a knot now did any of you guys get the crochet kit that i last did if you did you'd probably got some flowers left over right i was thinking if you popped one of these little flowers and if you didn't get the crochet kit you can get these at spark rotten if you popped one of these on instead of a knot he could be holding a little flower couldn't he oh that was so cute well you know you can put a flower in his hair you can do anything you want obviously your reference picture is a guide you can make him who you know however you want him to look so yes that would be very cute wouldn't it okay so i'm just going to pop that back again i digress as usual right put that there so what i'm going to do and you'll get full instructions on this is to start off by just rolling my felt into this sort of shape now it's telling me to do this in my instructions and then the general rule that i found was the thicker needle is the one that you want to use to actually get your wool to or your felt rather to stick together really quickly and then the thinner needles you tend to use to refine the shape and to add the details so i'm just literally getting this wool to stick together Come on camera there we are by stabbing it with my wool and then I'm going to turn it over with my needle rather and keep going now you'll find that it starts off really fluffy and the more you stab it the more sort of structure you get into your shape and you can take your ends and fold them in be very careful of your fingers and just pop the needle into the fibres and you'll see that it makes if I bring it up to the camera it makes little holes as you go but when you use the thinner needle later on for the details the holes are smaller and you don't see them as much so you can get rid of these so I'm just going to tuck in my ends and just start off by making this not so fly away so that I've got something that I can work with now you do need to pierce it with the needle quite a few times to sort of get that structure so it's not a five minute job but it's such fun <laughs> rachel's watching this from the hairdressers hello rachel's hairdresser <laughs> i haven't managed to get into a hairdresser's yet i've got very used to doing it myself i've had my nails done though <laughs> and then you need to make sure that you keep turning your piece over and doing it from every side okay so i'm just getting some structure into this first of all so that my fibers are knitting together as you go if you've not done this before you'll start to see what needle works and you'll get a feel for it you know like i said with um the kumihimo a bit of practice like maybe you've certainly got enough felt you could start off get a bit of um felt and just sort of make a shape because there's so much there that you can have a little practice to start with so this is knitted together from being a long piece and i want a ball so i'm just going to roll it in my hands just to start to sort of form that round shape okay and i'm just literally going right the way through it i'm finding any straggly ends and i'm tucking them in and i'm working all the way around be very careful of your fingers when you're doing this just holding on the end and of course i'm leaning on my little pad that you get in with the kit so that i'm actually piercing this all the way through to get all of the fibers inside to knit together and then any lumps that i'm finding i'm just piercing them with the needle to get them to sort of all stick together really into the shape that i'm wanting but do we have any questions so far uh, christina says you can use the felt for the eyes if you want yeah oh good idea yes of course you can because i use the felt for the eye on the fish let me show you 
okay so can you see the fish there that's felt so I just put a bit of white in there and then a tiny teeny bit of black so yes I forgot about that thanks for that so if anyone's very very used to doing this please feel free to give tips because as I said I'm a beginner um, and this is just how I did it so yes um, you can use the wool or the felt keep calling it wool felt is felt wool I don't know um, to make the eyes so what I'm doing is if you can see and I'm going to move on to one in a moment that I've already worked on for quite a while is it's taking shape here okay so what I'm aiming for really is a bit of a head shape so if I put him there sort of his head is that shape because he's a hamster and he's got big fat cheeks so cute um, so if you carry on and carry on you're going to end up with sort of a much neater and tighter shape and the way that you would sort of refine that is to take your thinner needle and just you don't have to take it all the way through just on the surface just popping here so if I see sort of a little bump on the top I don't like I can smooth that out by very gently just I'm piercing sort of I don't know just, just the surface there just to to do some detailing in there now what you need to do as well as you go on is to keep checking with your reference image so let me pop that into shot so this is my reference image and I keep needing to see that my ball is the same size as the photograph um, obviously that one's way too small and I would just keep adding wool to that until that is the right size and I'm going to show you how to add some wool to that so let's just pop that one there so once you've got sort of your basic shape you can add wool and what I tend to do is pull off a little bit of wool and adding sort of little and often I found was more manageable and I found it a little bit easier and then you want to wrap it around your existing shape here grab your thicker needle and start to adhere the new wool to the existing shape so I'm just adhering there I'm not being too exacting at the moment because I can refine the shape later I just want it to stick together if that makes sense okay so I'm just going all the way around top and bottom and if you wanted to make him sort of a bit fatter at the bottom of his head you could wrap the wool just around the bottom and then blend it in as you go okay right just checking for any questions and so this is actually gradually making him thicker and thicker as I go around just any sort of straggly bits that you see you are just piercing with this and I'm pushing this needle this is a thicker needle in quite a bit so that I adhere and make this new wool a part of the structure that's already there now I carried on and carried on with this until I had a grey part that was as big as my reference image okay and that's his head there now I have added some white because as you can see it takes quite a bit of time so I'm going to show you how to add new colors so if we put his head to the back you can see that I've actually made from this rough kind of piece of wool I've refined him so he's the shape that I need him to be and if I grab my reference image here and pop his head against there I'm pretty much on the right track so that's the right size now okay all right so I'm following my instructions and you need to start adding wool to your instructions so you will need to start add, adding another color at some point now a tip here that I found useful was if you either mark with a marker or poke with your needle where your eyes are going to be it gives you a point of reference so you might sort of add the nose and then think oh hold on that's too high now but if you just pop in where you see that your eyes are going to go that will give you a point of reference and then you can actually measure the cheeks and everything by where the eyes are the way I did that is I do a lot of um, art 
and I always find that you need something to go on even when I'm drawing a face I put the eyes in even just roughly quite soon because then I can get a real feel for the face good morning Julia Julia rather okay so I need to make his cheeks a lot fatter because he needs to look really cute so I'm going to grab some wool and it tells me in the instructions exactly how to do this and I'm going to just separate a little bit of wool here and what I found was if I take a piece of wool and then cut it roughly in half and this is just something I did then I know that if I add half to one side and half to the other side it's going to be more even so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to sort of roll it into a little ball I'm going to move my felt pad out of the way because the wall's white and attempt not to stab myself and then I'm just going to pop sort of scrunch it up and pop it into his cheek and I'm using my big needle just to adhere that so I'm going into the center so that now that's sort of glued on and I can work around it okay so what I'm going to do is just work around the cheek here taking any straggly bits of wool and just kneading them into where I want them to be and all the time I've got my reference image in front of me so his, his cheek is building up there. I've got my reference image in front of me so that I can sort of see how far up compared to the eyes these cheeks need to go. And what I need to do first of all is just get these cheeks so the wool looks seamless in there and doesn't look like I've just added it. So I'm just going to do this and then I'll show you sort of how you get the rough effect with this needle. So let's hold him up to the camera, see if you can see him there. He's got quite a rough effect. Now if I want to refine the line here, I'm going to take the thin needle and I can actually pull the wool where I want it to be and then push it down so that I'm actually making that line quite neat. And then go over the top and just very very gently not going too deeply start to refine the shape and this brings all the fibers together and really makes him look really neat and really tidy hi Donna how are you so that I've done one cheek there and then I'm going to get another bit of white wool and just scrunch it up and pop it onto I think I've got a bit of grey in there. I'm not going to use that bit. I'm going to get another bit. Okay, get another bit. And I think that it, unless you're really used to doing this, it's probably good to just add a little bit at the at a time and sort of build him up. So I'm taking my thicker needle, um, popping my wool into the cheek there, and just by stabbing it, it kind of glues it in. It's so clever, really, really clever. And you just pop that in. So I'm using the larger needle again to just adhere this wool into the correct place and you can move it around and then as you press it in it kind of glues it in. Very clever and I presume you know if you wanted to leave him a little bit furrier then you wouldn't have to sort of stab it so much you could leave him with some some little kind of furry cheeks that would be cute and what I really liked about this was that you can make these little characters your little characters so you can follow your instructions really really closely and have them looking exactly like the picture or you can make your little chapter have his own little personality and, and you can make him exactly as you want to make him okay so now I've got the thinner needle and I'm just popping it in the cheeks and I'm just going to check that I'm even on both sides and I can take, if I hold it up a little bit, I can take sort of any straggly bits of wool and use the thin needle to sort of add detail there. Gonna... Hello Patricia! 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is just show you, you would keep doing that and keep adding all the different colours of wool depending, obviously I'm doing the hamster, but depending on which one you've chosen to do. If you've just joined us, just to tell you that when we launched these kits last week, um, most of them sold out in 24 hours and we've got new stock coming and it will be in next week, week commencing the 26th of April. You can pre-order, so you can just buy on the website, check out as you usually would and then the stock will be sent to you as soon as it arrives at Spark Rotten headquarters um, and limited stock Juliet tells me so if you've got your heart on one of these little chaps then you're probably going to want to um, pop one uh, in your basket and there are links to that in the chat okay so we've been making his head and you would do this for sort of every piece of the body adding sort of whatever wool or colours and then you come to adding the eyes now there's different ways of adding the eyes depending on what you're making with this little guy I actually formed out quite a large circle so that I could indent his his eyes in here but this one has got these sort of what I would call safety eyes the sort of eyes that you use in in other projects so what I did was I ascertained where I wanted my eyes to be and then I just put sort of a little a little needle point in there to find where I wanted my eyes to be and then I found it really useful if you've got an awl you know a beading awl I found that was really useful for making the hole a little bit bigger so you can use that or a pokey tool or anything like that or you can just keep working away with your needle that will work as well and then you pop your eyes in to the holes and you just press them in now I haven't put glue on these guys now I know these eyes go in because they were in earlier there you go um, pop some glue on I would say onto the eye itself before you pop it in and then just pop the eye in and press it through so like they will stay if you don't put glue on but I don't know how long they would last so I would definitely say pop a little bit of glue on there before you pop your eyes in so this is for this little guy and a lot of the little um, puppies have these eyes are so cute but if you need to add the larger eyes then you just need to make sort of a bigger indentation and it does tell you completely in the instructions now the other thing that I thought might be useful to actually see is joining some pieces together okay so I'm going to take <laughs> that eye out because he looks funny with one eye doesn't he so what I've done is I followed all of the steps to make a body shape okay and in the instructions I would have finished his face before I added the body but it's up to you how you do it but I'm just going to show you how to add sort of two pieces together because I think that's quite an important technique if you've not done it before so all the way through we've been checking with our reference image that our components are the right size so his head is definitely the right size I would be adding some larger cheeks and obviously some pink and his nose and all the details and then I need to add his body now you build up on the body but the basic shape is that so that is about the right size of the body as well and I'm checking it against the actual size image so that's really really useful I think so when it comes to adding the body let me turn over my instructions yeah it's the same as the other one you are literally going to use your needles in the same way so you just need to make sure that you position your body where you want it to be and I'm going to take a larger needle to start off with and I'm just going to poke the bottom into the head so I'm going to turn it upside down I find is the easiest way to do it and just put the needle right in and poke it right through the body it's hard to show you sideways and going just around and it's already already adhered slightly and poking him there into the head okay so I'm going quite deeply here and I'm using the larger needle so it's making quite large holes but it's also really pushing those fibers together so you're making your basic body here and then you add on to make it about his legs and to add his little bottom and his little fat tummy 
not a great idea. Aurora says he could be winking one eye. What I really love about this Aurora as well is that I made my little guy he doesn't look anything like the photo because he kind of spoke to me as he went. I don't know if any of you um, do art or draw and you know when you sort of start off doing a portrait and then at the end it looks nothing like you thought because it kind of tells you what it wants to do. I found that with these little guys. I thought, oh no, he doesn't he doesn't want that. He wants thinner cheeks or fatter cheeks and it you can really be creative. It's such fun. So I've done a sort of a initial just kind of poking down that and that's really secure there look so his body is now attached and then what you would do so if you look on the back there you can see the join is add some felt over the top to sort of make this seamless and start to add sort of some some shape to his little bottom and his back so exactly the same way as we did it before I'm going to grab some felt and I'm just going to pop it across the join of the head and the body in fact I might just make it a little bit thicker there and start to add it in where you want it sort of covering the join there so that you can make it so that it doesn't look like two pieces at all it actually looks like the head and body are one piece which you could do it in one piece if you really knew what you were doing I'm sure you could so I'm just following the instructions here and can you see how easy that is look that's just covering that join perfectly there and when you're dealing with little ears and little noses I will show you just a little bit of detail in a moment um, once we've done this so if I want to like I've got that that little bit of, of uh, wool there I don't have to take it up to the top of his head if I don't want I can just bring it back down and do sort of a thicker join there and I'm really just pressing in to sort of make it the shape that I want it to be can you see and then to go over it and sort of make it more tidy and, and more seamless that's when you get your little thin needle and you're not poking it in quite as far and then I can sort of start to refine him there and uh, so that's how you join okay that's a very quick version of how you join and then I've made some little ears here so I've made one which I'll bring up to the camera it's this little ear and I'll show you how you can add a little bit of color into a tiny tiny little space so I've made another ear and it's matching up to the first ear so what I need to do is decide which side is going to be the front so I think that's going to be my front and I'm just going to take my needle and just start to add some detail you know how you've got that little sort of crease in ears so I'm just going round with my needle and stabbing almost like drawing you're drawing with your needle just to make his little ear have a little bit of detail and then I'm going to add some pink into the center now I found with this again just add a really tiny bit and then keep adding it was the easiest the easiest way to do it so I've literally got you can hardly even see that a tiny little bit I'm going to roll it into a little manageable ball and then I need to just find where I want that pick that to go and I'm going to take the center of it I need to hold it with my fingers and just dig it in so that I adhere it first of all into the center so that's now adhered and then what I want to do is keep brushing the little fibers into the middle where I want them to be so this could be a nose it could be um, you know a little detail anything you want and then once I've got that kind of where it wants to be I'm going to take the little needle and I'm going to just really push it where I want it to be so I can grab the fibers little straggly fibers and poke them into the middle once I've done that I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to give it a little needle from the back so that it's definitely adhering here and then I'm going to do that again just needling it through until it's really really in there now one thing I didn't mention is if you do have any little stragglers that you want to get rid of you can take your scissors and just 
trim them off so now he's got a little pink part to his ear now you don't want to sort of make the ear cut it off and have it like that you need something to attach so I've left these little these little fibers on the bottom so let's attach his ear decide where you want his ear to be so let me have a look at the picture okay so it's sort of either side of the mound of his head all right decide where you want the ear to be turn him over and I'm going to once again use the larger needle to start adhering his ear I'll just have a check that it's where I want it to be yes it is and then I'm going to just those straggly bits that I left on the bottom of the ear I'm going to push in so that his ear is adhering isn't he cute look at him and then also from the front I'm just going to push some fibers down Nancy says she has a lot of snow today I love your name Nancy my na my grandma was called Nancy that's a lovely name and there we are so look there he is his ears on should we put his other ear on before we go <laughs> We can't leave him with one ear can we okay so we're going to I'm just going to position the other ear where I want it to be roughly there I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to so the technique is basically just this exactly what I've been doing for everything apart from adding the eyes but then again you can Felt the eyes on if you want to so I want to turn him this his ear this way a bit now I would take a bit longer to refine him but there's his ears so once we've added his eyes let's pretend we've added his eyes so there's one let's get see if we can get the other one in come on little eye okay so we've added his eyes and then what we would do is add his nose, all of his features. And then I thought he might look really cute instead of a little nut, actually holding a little flower. I thought that could be really cute. So you would just sort of embed the head pin into his body. And this is the guy that is on the instructions there okay so I would carry on following my instructions adding all my details my little stripe my little mouth in exactly the same way as I've been showing you until um, I would finished and then you've got a really cute little animal to do what you want with and you do get sort of this little hangy if I can pick it up this little um, hangy finding so that you can sort of add it to his head with an eye pin and hang him somewhere if you've just joined us this is the one that I other one that I made this is a little little cat with his little fish he's so cute um, and they are different ones to choose from and new ones as well coming in so let me just bring you back here hello I'm gonna turn this light off Okay, so just to remind you, if you've joined us, that these are the new felting kits. They actually launched last week and they didn't even last to me doing the live because they sold out within 24 hours. But more are coming and new ones as well. We've got a little puppy dressed as a monster, a little puppy dressed as a crocodile. We've got a tabby cat, a ginger cat rather. Um, fantastic. You get all the tools, everything that you've seen me use. Um, you get all of the felt that you need, the eyes, loads left over. So you can probably make a little friend or a couple of little friends for your character um, what you need to do is go onto the website and actually pre-order it so just check it out as you usually would and it will be sent out to you when they arrive at Spot Rotten Beads next week so that's week commencing 26th of April Juliet did ask me to tell you that there is limited stock so if you've got your heart set on one I would go and order one now do we have any questions it could be a key ring charm yes um, because you have got that finding there there are little pup uh, there's little puppies there's cats if you go onto the website you'll see them all there patricia of course you can re-watch watch this um, you're more than welcome to and you also get a link to youtube 
actual video showing you how to make them in a lot of detail sort of start to finish sped up so it shows you all the way through for all the different characters um, so you just have to on your instructions if you just go to your little code there and just scan it it will take you through to a YouTube video so you can actually watch your little guy being made in, in a fast video but you have also got your photographic and your written instructions in with your kits all that for 5.95 how's that i think it's amazing okay right so i think i've answered what you need to do is they are there if you follow the link in the chat or if you go onto the spot rotten beads website and you go into kits and then you go into needle felting kits you'll see them there just put it in your basket pay for it check it out as you usually would and the only difference being that it won't come immediately because they're not here yet it will come next week when the stock gets into spot rotten beads itself so that's all you need to do just check it out as you usually would if it was in stock and off you go okay so thank you so much for joining me i've had such fun with this and if you've just joined us sort of later on um just to remind you i was a complete beginner and i managed to to really get on with these really well i thought they were wonderful so don't be put off if you're a beginner um i think you'll have great great fun with them they are adorable you're very welcome you're very welcome for the tutorial i love doing the workshop wednesdays and i look forward to seeing you again very very soon if you do make any of these little creatures please do post in the spot rotten beaders facebook group because we love to see what you make and if you need any help as well just ask any questions in there and um, it's such a supportive community and you know tag me debbie kershaw if you want to and i'll i'll, I'll help you if i can do so uh, yeah let's have a look Okay, so brilliant, take care, lovely to see you once again and don't forget to join us next time for Workshop Wednesday. Take good care. Bye.